Hello, makers. For this month's Makery Craft, we're making custom stickers with the sublimation printer. The Makery will provide a blank 8.5 by 11 inch sticker sheet, and you can fill it up with photos, text, illustrations, anything you want. If you can print it out, you can put it on a sticker. For this craft, we'll need a computer with design software. We'll use Microsoft Word, but you can use Canva, Illustrator, Google Docs, anything you're comfortable with. You need to provide a design, such as pictures from your phone. We'll also need the sublimation printer, a blank sticker sheet, heat tape, Teflon sheets, the heat press, and cutting tools like scissors, a paper cutter, or this nifty circle cutter. Let's start by making our design. There are lots of possibilities. For the example, we'll start with text. Pick any font, size, and color you want. We have this whole sheet to use, so we'll add in some pictures that we downloaded. Here's an example of an illustration or a cartoon. You can click and drag to change the size. Or you can type in a precise measurement in the upper right corner here. We'll make this one at least three and a half inches on both sides so that it works with our circle cutter. Let's add a photo. All the same rules apply. Change the size, arrange it appropriately. There's still some room on the page, so finally we'll add some online pictures. We'll search for Coffee Beans Illustration and select one we like. We don't have a specific size in mind for this one, so we'll just make it big enough to fill the remaining space. Quickly, I want to remind you that you can make a bunch of small stickers or one big sticker. This is just our example. You can do anything you want. We are all set and ready to print. Make sure the printer is set to Sawgrass Print Manager and click Print. After a moment, this orange icon will show up on the bottom edge of the screen. We'll click on it and change one setting. Substrate should be MDF board. After that, just click the pink print button. It takes about a minute to print out. When that's ready, we'll get our sticker sheet. Lay your sticker sheet down with the glossy side face up. Place your print face down on top of the sticker sheet. Center it as best you can and use a little bit of heat tape to keep it in place. Now over to the heat press. Turn it on. Set the temperature to 350 degrees. And set the time to 210 seconds. While it heats up, we'll lay down a sheet of Teflon. Let's pause for a moment because this is important. Do not use butcher paper. The stickers will melt to the butcher paper and get ruined. We need to use Teflon because Teflon is nonstick. All right, back to it. Next, we'll place our sticker on top of the Teflon. It doesn't matter which sides face up. And then we'll cover it completely with one more sheet of Teflon. Clamp the heat press down and wait for the beep. Once the heating is completed, we'll take the sticker sheet off right away and set it on the counter to cool. This will help reduce curling. After it's cooled, peel the Teflon off the back of the sticker, and then peel the paper off the front. Now we just need to cut them out. We'll start by separating the different stickers using a paper cutter. After that, we've got options. Choose whichever you're most comfortable with. 
If you've got a steady hand, you can freehand it with some scissors. For a neat circle, you can use one of the circle cutters. Or for a simple rectangular shape, you can just stick with a good old fashioned paper cutter. These stickers work great on water bottles, laptops, phones, any hard surface. They even hold up in the dishwasher. That's it for this month's Makery Craft. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.